Oh, so what is what is going on, everybody? This is a bit close, isn't it? But it's it's necessary because we're about to do some reacting. So welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the first video, which probably came out a few hours ago. That was me learning a little bit about the AAF, the Alliance of American Football, and I'm very excited to watch the highlights from the first week. So I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of comments on my recent videos with a lot of likes on those comments and obviously the most liked comments definitely get to get my attention which they have and basically it's just saying that you guys want to see me react to the AAF and I've also had a lot of messages come through Instagram telling me about the AAF letting me know it's on telling me people believe I could play in it one day you know I'm not taking that I'm taking that with a grain of salt as they say but um, you know, I'm a fan of the game regardless, and I didn't want the NFL to, to finish. I wasn't ready. So I'm one of those fans that is very happy uh, for, for some more professional football to be going on. And so with that said, the first game in the AAF was, let's have a look. Sorry, sorry if I'm a bit, a bit excited, if I'm, if I'm stuttering a bit more than usual. I, I've, had, I've had a fair amount of time off doing these reactions, you know. And look, I, I do want to address something before I get into this, and that is my, my language. In the recent reactions that I did to the AFC and the NFC championship games, it kills me when I receive comments that say, look, I loved your stuff, you're obviously intelligent, um, I'm, I'm sure you've got a bigger vocabulary than what you let on, but you swear too much. Or, but, you know, it, I love the video, but the cursing ruins it. And it fucking, it rips me, man, because I'm like, it, it does. But I don't, I don't realize I'm doing it at the time, you know. I'll only realize it when I, I watch it back. And I guess with the way that I like editing my videos, I like keeping most of what I say in the video. If I, if I stutter for too long, maybe I'll clip it out, but usually I don't. So with that said, with, you know, cursing and, and swear words stay in there. So I realize that kids are watching my videos. I realize that it does sound very cringy sometimes when I do curse, although it's gonna happen at times, but I will be making a concerted effort to, to sort of stop that and rather use a different describing word than fucking or, well, that's pretty much it, but <laughs> I, I actually, I don't say any other words, it's just fuck. Fuck, 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 fuckity fuck, fuck. Let's get into it. Week number one, game one was uh, Orlando, Atlanta. Atlanta Legends. Guys, I said in my last video, I looked at the names, I was like, which team am I going to back? It has to be the Legends. Of course, it has to be. They're also coached by Mike Vick, which is pretty sick. So, one million views, probably because they got trounced 40 to 6. But, uh, let's get into it, guys. I'm, I'm excited. I've been thinking about this for three or four days. This is the start of a brand new league. Who knows where it could end up? I'm excited, I hope you guys are too. I'm gonna to subscribe to Highlight Heaven and pray that this video is not copyrighted. Okay. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is oh. We are ready to start a new era of pro football. A new era of pro football. How can you not be excited about that? It's the of the Alliance on CBS is the Orlando Apollos host the Atlanta Legends at Spectrum Stadium here in Orlando, Florida. A lot of the NFL... Spectrum Stadium, Orlando. Okay. Uh, I just want to get some numbers, see what the capacity is like. Spectrum Stadium is an American football stadium located in Orlando uh, on the main campus of the Uni University of Central Florida. It is the home field of the UCF Knights uh, in college football and the Orlando Apollos of the Alliance for American Football. 45,301 capacity. Let's go. Rules will carry over to the Alliance, but this is one difference. There are no kickoffs. And so the ball... No kickoffs? No kickoffs, really? 
ball is spotted at the 25 yard line to start the game. Also, no extra points. You have to. I should have listened to this guy first. What am I doing? Go for two. Since there's no kickoffs, there's an onside conversion, which is a fourth and 12 from your own 28 yard line if it comes after a touchdown. And there are some only a five man rush is allowed for the most part. Any Chargers. Who's their kick to right. start the season but let go after four games? This one is on target and good. And those are the first points. First points of the league. History. Who's that? Who? Bro, guys, I mean I'm 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 not trying to be funny here, but I literally am yet to see like a an, an Asian player. I am. I'm not even making a joke. Like I, seriously, that's what I thought like not long ago, but there you go. <laughs> Goal by Young Way Koo. Young Way Koo! TJ Barnes has lifted at 380. That's Bang! Not bad. He be big, but he's got some speed, and he picks up a first down, a game of 11. So, Orlando, Atlanta. Okay, so I'm going. So, <laughs> Koo was on my team, the Legends. Okay, I'm purple. Right, got it. First and ten. That sucks because the running back just carved us up. No, no. Oh, yes. That's right. Throw that flag. Far out, what a run. Second quarter. Oh, no. Okay, they've 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 synced the audio out from the video to make it non-copyright. I feel that catch was absolutely amazing. Let's see that again. Watch this. Where is he? He's right here. Whoa! That's good D, man. Don't give up. Ah, oh, it was ruled a touchdown after review. Okay. Nice run. Oh. Seemed like he was only jogging when he caught that. There we go. This is how you do it the right way. You come over and then you get out of the way. This time you do it perfect. Screen and then get out of the way so you don't get called. That's how you run the crossing route and make the play and not allow the referee to call throw the flag out. The Apollo is at the one yard okay. line. Davion Smith is the running back. There's the run left. Smith into the end zone. Touchdown. I like that. I like that. Smith is the running back. So, wide receivers coming. Well, is that a wide receiver? He's coming across. So he's got to time that really well. Okay, so he's coming across just before he comes across. The ball is uh, is hiked. So I'm, I'm getting this in my head first. Hang on. Just before he comes across, the ball's hiked. Okay, hiked. He fakes to take it. He runs around here. The running back is going to take it to the left. Ball, fake, take that. Well, they actually cross over at the same time. Let's have a look. They literally are crossing at exactly the same time. They have, they have practiced that. They have, haven't they? There's the run left. Smith into the end zone. Touchdown. No, the two-point conversion. He's open. Gilbert has time. And a wide open Matt Weezer. The Buffalo product has the two-point conversion. And Orlando. Second punt for Nizel. With Bracey Williams, it's about 55. 
And the legends recover! Wait, <laughs> what's that guy doing on the ground? Did he get injured? Oh no, he just gets absolutely smashed, doesn't he? Watch this. You can't be dropping that, buddy. Feels like I'm at fullback. You drop the ball like that in rugby. Well, it's not the end of the world, but it's not that good. Second what happened? With Bracey Williams, the deep man for Orlando. Oh, he it. All is free. And the legends recover. It's Dwayne Hollis, son. I'm just watching him. He's on the ground, but he, he got like clipped by his own player. I don't know if it was that bad. Kick is good. Second field goal of the half. Draw off. Shot coup. Oh, wow. This is gutsy. Sims. And it's incomplete. Yeah, so now you're going to give Orlando now a clear chance for a field goal. That's Bill Lawrence. First and Was that a fourth down? It was. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. What did you decide to do, guys? Let me have a look at that again. Of the half. Draw off. Yeah, gutsy, all right. Fuck, ah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Philly. Is that the Philly special? Is it? I want to see when this guy, when this guy starts coming across. He literally, okay, yeah, so he, he's over here, he's literally, he's come up, he turns around, literally starts running backwards. I mean, nobody would have expected him to get the ball, right? But he knows already, this guy knows already, he's coming across, can't do shit about it. Andrew Catalan got it right. We're going to reframe this. Love it. Steve Spurrier said that while he was out of coaching, as he's not taking the time out to get set for this two point play. Solid. Look for a quick pass. Marshall went through his hands. 25. He's got a little more to go, he says. Sims hands it off to Justin Thomas. He's got some speed. That's Thomas. Thomas! Justin Thomas got some speed. All right, um, why the hell is this there? Why is this there? I want that gone. Good speed. There we go. The blitz was picked up. Good job up front, taking on the blitzing linebacker. You free up one of those short, cr short crossing routes. He got in the way, and it is good. 22 to go in the third quarter. Now we've got a three-score game. 25 to six in favor of Orlando. The punt. Terrible snap. Terrible punt. Orlando has fallen on the football. Still a fight there. They have not officially ruled it. Let's go, legends. It appeared to be clear that Chris Thompson had it. And folks kept fighting on the play. Atlanta somehow comes away with it. Never give up on it. Even if it's the other guy's got it, just keep it. Because remember, a tie ball will go to the offense. That's right. A tie ball will go to the offense. And I learned that because one time an offensive player and a defensive player went up to catch the ball in the end zone. They obviously both caught it. The defensive player thought that he won it when it's a tie ball, he, he loses it. And he went off and like celebrated and stuff and made a big fool of himself. In fact, he pulled a Sharpie out of his, out of his pants and started signing the ball when he thought that he got the interception, but obviously 
He didn't. I think that was like one of the worst moments celebrating too early in, in NFL history. There you go. They're digging. Even if he's got it, just keep fighting for Phillips saves a turnover because you're right, I thought he had it. Damn, bro! Damn! You're watching the you're watching the freaking defense, bro. You've got you, 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 that you see that ball. You've seen this guy coming. You've taken your eye off the ball for the for a split second, and that's all it takes for it to go straight through the bread basket. Straight through. I'm disappointed. That's not legendary. <laughs> that's a bad mistake. You talk about looking away, and you're right, Andrew. I thought for sure that this was going to be a turnover. He was communicating with, she was communicating with John O'Neill. The review, the ruling on the field of the kicking team recovering the ball, stands. Hey, Terry! Oh. Yeah, go ahead, Melanie, as Gilbert's going to throw a touchdown to Johnson. Wow! The <laughs> way didn't stop that one. Well done to staying on your feet. There is Johnson, the 33-yard touchdown. It's good for a touchdown. I guess the rain doesn't really affect Orlando here. <laughs> not too much, guys. I'll be honest. It's really just kind of a, a blowing mist right now. It's not that. I mean, you, could, you couldn't have asked for a better pass than that, could you? Plus his run. He had a guy on his left. He had a guy coming across from his right. He split both of them, caught the ball on the full, stayed on his feet, scored the touchdown. That was, that was pretty nice. Be, so. Shouldn't be much of a factor. Yeah, it wasn't. It was one of those little hitches and go to the outside. They've been running that crossing round this time. He set it up and then just went down on the play. How do the Orlando, uh, sorry, not Orlando, how do the Atlanta fans feel after this game? They confident? Oh, no! What's he going to do? You going to score? That fucking kicker didn't want, uh, didn't want a bar of it, did he? He didn't want a bloody bar of it. He could have stood up for his team and smashed this guy, but he didn't. But I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say that the guy stepped him. Let's watch again. I wanted to see... Is it the kicker? Yeah. No, it wasn't the kicker. No, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. It was the quarterback. I wouldn't expect him to make a big tackle, would, it, would you? I don't know, it's a bit of a risk. Watch this. Bro. Bro. You gonna turn on the inside or the outside? Oh, you made the right call. But not enough pace. Will it be a pick six? Damn. It's alright mate, it's alright. It's alright. A 51 yard return for number 51, Terrence Garvin. You said earlier, I would not call another screen. They called one too many. Screen pass, well defended, just a little wide, it bounces up, right to Garvin. Sims is the only one that had a chance, and Garvin's a little too athletic for anybody. How about the night for Garvin? Ten tackles, two interceptions, a touchdown, and a tackle. For he would have felt like he was the luckiest guy on earth. It just came straight we to him. him at practice Thursday, yes, and he really stood out as the playmaker of this Orlando defense. Oh, and on Austin Appleby. And on the, the Kim Hunt, and he's got the first down and more. There goes Hunt. And taken out of bounds by Ed Reynolds Jr., but not before Hunt gains 31. Well, I tell you, the offense of Orlando is kind of just tired out this uh, Atlanta defense right now. They're looking at the score, they're looking at the clock, and they're like, uh, get us out of here. Because they, right now, they can't get anything, they can't stop anything. And Appleby comes Nice in clean game. run. You know, as Andrew told you, started out his career at Purdue. We saw him finish it up at Florida. Steve Rowe's going to give a throw of the guy a chance. <laughs> and that's 40. And 40 on the board for the Apollos. Bernie fires and it's picked off. 
Did he get that cleanly? Marquez went out and said no. It bounced first. With 23 seconds to go. 27, I like that. As we take another look. Did he get it? The ruling on the field on the incomplete pass stands. Third down. Uh, shouldn't have. Okay. And then as the rain comes pouring down, Orlando celebrates an opening night victory. 40 to 6 over Atlanta. Well done. Well done. What do we take from that? How do you guys feel? I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. I, I, I feel as if you probably can't expect much in the first week. Guys are still getting used to each other. They're still going to be making those, those bonds, those connections on the field. Um, the quarterback needs that relationship with his running back, with his line, with his re receivers. <laughs> um, it's had a million views, 13,000 likes, 265 dislikes. I feel like people still enjoyed it. Um, and uh, I can't wait to see the legends only get better from here. So there you go. That was the first game of the season. Uh, in the next one, we're looking at San Diego Fleet versus San Antonio Commandeers. I'll see you soon. Like the video if you've liked it. Subscribe for more. Peace out.